feet up, steer the basin up, and flip this back over. Yeah! We're going to sear that up. Check it out. You see how it's starting to sear up there? That's beautiful. Start to sear that up. I'm going to put one more toothpick in there. It's fun. Our family gets together. We enjoy cooking. We enjoy the holidays and hanging out. My dad just got back from Alaska. He was up there for a couple weeks. Went on a cruise. He told me the food was okay. We go to a wedding, birthday party, anything like that. The first thing my family talks about, how was the food, right? We want to know. The bride's beautiful. The bride's always beautiful. The groom, he's just the rental boy, right? That's it. Yeah. All right, we're searing this meat up. Searing the bacon up. I'm going to flip this back over, just like that. We're going to leave that roll just like that. We're going to take this and we're going to put it in the oven, 354, 400 degree, 15, 20, 15 minutes max for a chunk like that, right? I eat, my, I eat mine at medium rare, you know? I've had other steaks that have been dry aged, that have been um, for 30 days, right? For 30 days I've had steaks that have been dry aged. And they say that you need to eat a medium. Well, I like my medium there. Oh, that, that's beautiful. We're doing well. Thank you, sir. All right, we have some. Uh, we have some of our game balls, meatballs here, out of the oven. And we're going to take and put those, I need, I can run this spoon right here. We're going to put these in the sauce. Holidays football games, whatever it may be, I tell you what, people will love these. Turkey season back in Michigan. I go out, I hunt, I bone the bird out, I grind the meat up, and I pretty much do the same thing. I'll make patties, right? Turkey burgers, outstanding. Swiss cheese on top of that, homemade bread. If you go to my website, you'll be watching me uh, make some bread and rolls this week. Apple pies. We're gonna put him over here on the supercharged side. All right? Flame on. He had this all pre-prepped for me. I'll use a little bit of that since he worked so hard at it. Mine come really well. I'll spoon a little bit more on there. What is it? This is the reduction of the pineapple, the grape juice, everything that I put in the pan that was reducing down. He had it so it come out to a consistency of this. Can you see it? You see how it reduced down? Can you see that? It makes it a lot thicker. There you go. So we will have those in there. And we can slow these down. Usually I like to put them back in the oven, but as things have been pre packed we're doing well. We're doing really well. So, oh, yep, perfect. Absolutely. This one here is gonna take a little bit longer. We're out of time crunch. He's already prepared and prepped this we have. We have this going here. So this is our filet coming out, right? So we'll let that go there a little bit. We have some roasted vegetables as well. That's all right, beautiful. They're already been roasted. 
and we have these completed here. We'll take it and we'll fold these out onto the plate. Does that look beautiful or what? Can you see that cameraman? Yeah. Here comes the filet. Yeah, Uncle Millie's liking this. Yeah. You know I'm gonna take a bite. You know I'm not shy. Yeah. Absolutely. I'm having fun. This is what it's all about. Look at that. Oh. He roasted that in the oven. I'll get another one in there. See this here? Does that look beautiful? Watch this. See how good Uncle Millie is on this deal. Yeah. Appetizers. These meatballs are great for appetizers. People love them, right? Absolutely. up a little bit. There you have it. Tenderloin wrapped in bacon. Roasted root vegetable. Sweet and sour. Meatball. Unbelievable. Work this a little bit. Can you see that? that beautiful? Yeah, this bite's mine. Mm-hmm. Yeah! I want to thank everybody for being here. You are my friend. You are my family.